I was working in a cafe in the School for Tropical Medicine in Liverpool. I love literature and I suppose I was quite a dramatic kid. I like to do funny voices and do skits. But I had no, absolutely no compulsion or idea that I would be an actor. I was thinking I might be a professional backpacker. And my mum was like, do you know what, this is a bit weird. Why don't you um, do this summer school? Liverpool Institute of Performing Arts was doing a summer school for people from Liverpool or the Merseyside area. So I went and at the end of it, the guy who took the course was like, I think you should go to drama school. I was like, oh, how'd you do that? And he was like, learn this and come here on Thursday. So I did. And there was no place for me. So they were auditioning for the reserves list. And I was like, okay, fine. Did the thing, forgot about it. They called and said someone had dropped out the course and did I want to come and be an actor for three years. So I did that. I used to say all the time I fell into acting and then I really interrogated that actually later on because it's a tough game and I think the reason that I've stayed in it is because through the sort of happenstance of finding myself at drama school I had no idea what acting was, what it required but I also didn't know how I would feel about it and I can remember the first time doing a scene and just having a moment where I stepped into something and f literally felt like things had just snapped into alignment. And I realised that I could be a conduit for something and I could distill all of these things that I had had swirling around in me and all of these ideas and the way that I related to the world and how I felt the world related to me. And, and I always loved history. And I think I turned a little bit like you go paddling around in human history. I'm like an archaeologist of the psyche. That's the most horrifyingly pretentious thing I could say, but it's true. Not every job is that, but there's enough of them that are that, that I go, because I love being this woman with these people. So that's why. It's been a challenge. It's been like lion taming, dragon slaying on how to not be utterly bereft every time I don't get a job. I spend a lot of time unemployed or in the pursuit of work. The general fatigue of that I found quite challenging. I found that really hard sometimes. And it was also really good fun. And I had a brilliant time and I'm not all of a twist. But when it went on for a prolonged period of time, I just found that really tough, actually. There are things about the business that I really struggle to make my peace with all the time. But you can't ever control someone's perceived notion of who you might be. That constant push and pull of my own autonomy versus what a character is that I might be playing. Weirdly enough that there was never a plan B. And I don't know whether that's because I adored it so much or it was just a wayward woman in me youth. <laughs> so, like, it never came up with a plan B. And I'm really fortunate. I have a phenomenal support system. A family, friends. Whenever I get my little heart busted up a bit, I'm very fortunate, there's always someone there when I'm dusting my knees down to go, I know I can't help you with that, but I can make you a cup of tea and you'll have a cry on my shoulder. My advice for other young actors is don't take any advice from me. <laughs> However, I will say, listen to what other people have got to say about what they think you should be doing and then lovingly toss it out the window. My mate uses this phrase, uh, a great friend of mine. A lot of life is luck and time and you have to be really invested in this pursuit the business side of it and the creative side of it. But a huge amount of it's looking time. And so my advice would be cultivate a sense of self that you are happy to exist within in this bonkers business. Know where your edges are. Learn how to say no. Learn how to say yes. Try not to let the disappointments make you bitter. And try not to let your successes make you feel like you are too special. <laughs> and say thank you to the person who brings you a cup of tea on set because that's also really important.